this definitely seems like it's a new normal for Western Canada. It's another sign we're seeing the effects of climate change. Some trees across the lower mainland struggling to stay alive. But what we've noticed over the last uh, year or so, um, primarily since the heat dome of last summer, is widespread tree dieback. That's the death of branches and leaves driven by droughts and heat waves. And he says it's been seen across Western North America, mainly in flowering and broadleaf trees. But it's too soon to know just how many trees are affected. Just like uh, when humans perspire on a hot day to cool our body, leaves transpire and it also helps keep the leaves cold. Um, but during these heat wave events, when the plants are water stressed, especially, they don't have the water um, to cool themselves um, and so we can actually see very high leaf and branch temperatures. It's something Francis Climo, an arborist who assesses properties across the region, has noticed too. Lately, as I go through my inspections on a day-to-day -day basis in Vancouver and other municipalities, um, I do often see, you know, quite mature trees as well as younger, newly established trees that are having a hard time to re-establish or, or establish into their growing environment. In a statement to City News, the Vancouver Park Board says previous seasonal extremes have acted to compound stress on trees. It adds staff water juvenile trees and aid them in their establishment. If trees are well watered and they have adequate water supply um, so that they can um, you know, kind of maintain their hydraulic system, um, then that will really help them cope. With temperatures expected to continue to rise in the years to come, both Michaelitz and Climo believe trees in the region will continue to deteriorate. Water trees more or um, plant trees that are drought tolerant. There are species that are drought, drought tolerant. So it may have to come to that point where any new tree replacements for new projects, uh, boulevard planting plans, they would select um, drought tolerant trees. The human in me is, is sad to see this occurring, but the scientist in me is uh, interested to see it happening. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.